BN Norse course, B1 Norwegian course, the journey today, the third day of the third part of B1 intensive course, which is the fourth, the fifth week. It's uh, it's intense. It's uh, it's uh, a lot of things to learn about today and uh, yesterday um, I um, I want to mention some things I realized this week there were uh, fewer people I mean yesterday and today on Monday we were all I don't know why but we were like eight or nine people and on Monday we were like 13 or 14 uh, some people are having some other stuff to do anyway um, other than that, I know that I mentioned when the course be began uh, some weeks ago that uh, I I'm like one or with uh, the one with the fewest or less experience in uh, in in Norway in general. Like I said, I have uh, less than a year, and most people are uh, over four years here. Uh, but uh, it's not uh, like this uh, I heard two people saying they are here for less than two years or like one and a half two years and there is a, a woman who's here for just uh, six months I think and she is uh, I think she is better at doing this than me um, at first, uh, uh, we had uh, we had one of our uh, di dialogues was about um, the reason of uh, learning Norwegian, and uh, I said, uh, um, "Yeah, I learned Norse for a for a blinner social. I'm learning Norwegian to be more social." Uh, most of the people are here to, I mean, not most, yeah, most, most of the people are in this class to uh, take the language exam to become a citizen uh, of Norway. Um, but this uh, woman is here, uh, is learning Norwegian as a hobby, she says. She's like, she said uh, she knows like four languages or something like that. Uh, and she said that uh, for her it's very important to learn the language so you can uh, be part of the culture. So she said like it's the most important thing to understand the language. It's, uh, yeah, and she's here for six months just so, uh, yeah, it's, that's something. Um, I felt uh, bad for for a minute uh, because uh, she I, I think she is better at uh, using Norwegian at the moment and I was like oh yeah and she's not like a linguist uh, uh, a person who uses uh, many languages at work she's an architect so yeah there are some people like this very smart very workaholics probably yeah kind of that's it um yeah i have another observation that i just don't want to make public <laughs> okay so about today um it felt like a short uh, very short day uh, in the course uh, and i think it started to feel like that in the past uh, two weeks maybe because it's more like uh, a dialogue and less like uh, having to read and practice and uh, understand and then do your best to just say a small phrase and communicate with other person very mm, like very less than a beginner <coughs> that but now we are asking questions we are um, 
creating different scenarios for different uh, uh, phrases and words to understand how they work and it's uh, it's more proactive but it, it gives me the feeling that we can uh, do more but anyway it it goes like this i think i can see um how i'm growing in learning it from week uh, by uh, every week it's it goes there um at the same time i think after the course uh, is finished i will have to work a lot to understand better these books uh, but uh, i i guess it's is the 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 start i need to get to other things like uh, watching movies of course with subtitles but uh, uh, hearing some words understanding others reading others and connecting them because um, at the moment we learned we are learning of course new words are hard so having a a, a base uh, of uh, words to use day by day it's it's hard because it's new things you have to define yeah, define this in a in a new language like invent your own so you have to learn uh, many many new things but we are um, learning how to connect different words how to approach different um, different actions different situations stuff like that it's uh, it's great it's it's getting there so talking about today we went through the homework in a way that i enjoyed because we even though uh, i didn't write my homework but i just um, uh, read the exercises and I did them mentally and when where I didn't know what to write there I just google stuff and I did my research I, I just didn't have the energy didn't have the energy yesterday to do it but uh, I did some but uh, I liked uh, the approach for today because we uh, went through all of the exercises even though some people uh, I mean the uh, in the class uh, solve them uh, right so we just it, uh, the teacher just explain us how, how things work and that's that's nice there was a, a good exercise of uh, listening and uh, connecting what the person says to what uh, to a situation from the book sorry and that uh, went well for all of us mostly yeah and uh, i was quite uh, happy i i managed to fit all of the conversation right um yeah that that went uh, well and then we talked about uh, cooking yeah the current chapter is cooking we talked about some diets some uh, um, different types of eating like vegan vegetarian uh, yeah other those type of diet where you eat uh, for some days and then you have some other days with less different things less meat or less calories and we had the uh, conversations between us in a group of two or three and about these things yeah. and in um, and uh, of cor course there were uh, many many new terms we had to understand many new words because uh, there was like for example types of uh, vegetables animals uh, uh, legumes I think is the word I don't understand the difference between vegetables and legumes but it seems like they are uh, I thought it's just vegetables in English but yeah anyway and different uh, types of meat and the uh, different way of eating it yeah many new words and in the end um, 
we had a conversation from the textbook in which we were impersonating people from the text we had to read for today. Uh, uh, the text was about uh, four, uh, four people. Uh, it's a long text, it's a uh, four pages text. Uh, I managed to read it, so that was, went fine. We had to impersonate one of these persons and talk as they are talking in the, their description because there, because there were some person, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, there were some, some that are vegetarian, there were some that are eating meat but trying to eat less and we had to have a conversation about that and that went uh, amazing I think we, we managed to discuss some interesting things and using Norwegian so that was uh, great for tomorrow um, I did my homework in the metro and until the home so it was like the waiting the metro and then in the in the train I did the, the exercises for tomorrow there are four exercises but we have to read I think six pages which uh, yeah seems like okay that's so easy but uh, being a new language and every new lesson is uh, composed out of new ideas new words new expressions it's not that easy from day to day uh, yeah, but uh, the reading will uh, take place uh, later on. I don't think today, but tomorrow probably on the metro uh, or uh, at the gym. Uh, I started doing this thing where I go to the gym and I start doing some cardio on a, on a static bicycle. And I read my thing, I translate my things uh, on my phone. It, it just works and I have to have my the book. I cannot have the book like this because I'm uh, sweating all the time and it gets to the pages. I have to be like this, to read it like this and use the phone like this here. So it's uh, it's interesting, but at least it gets my postures uh, straight. So that's, that should be fine. That's all for today. Hadebra!